What's going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Garrett with Game by the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because today is Monday and we all know what that means. There is going to be a new faction blessing. You can see it at the bottom of my screen. It's all lit up. There's actually two tabs right now lit up because we haven't checked out the new event. We haven't checked out the new faction booster, but you guys know how I love to do that, do this, and that is uh, figuring out and finding out what our week's going to look like together. So without further ado, let's hop on over determining this week's faction. Come on, do something cool. All right. Oh, Forest Alliance. And it's a speed boost. Oof, this would have been a, a, a beautiful uh, faction boost to run for the Hunter Rogue deck. We got Ivy in there. We got Boreas in there. We got Dryad in there. It looks like it's just asking for some sort of a hex deck hunter hex rogue ivy hex hunter boreas dryad hex something it looks like something's gonna have to happen what is it marathon increases enemy movement speed on your opponent's side by eight percent for this unit in this faction okay so let's try and figure out what deck we want to play this week and then we'll jump right into the video all right, we have made a deck, and it is an all-faction deck. What is it? Forest faction? All-forest faction deck. Guys, I'm pretty excited about this deck. I really hope this works. Okay, we're going up against a guy that's also running something a little bit different. Cultist Sharpshooter, you don't see that often. Uh, absolutely respect it. But what we're working with today is Rogue Ivy Hex. Okay, then we also got Dryad and Summoner which you don't usually see Dryad and Summoner together. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. We can get some pretty good benefits out of having Dryad and Summoner working together, whether you're getting a higher ranking merge or whatever. But the fact that we have every single unit in our deck from the Forest Faction just means we're just bumping up that percent. I didn't actually do the math. Was it 8% per unit? So whatever that is. That's how much faster the monsters move on our opponent's board, which is pretty great. Okay, that's definitely nothing to sneeze at at you. Um, so, so I'll take that. I have not really played Rogue since the nerf. But if you guys don't remember what the nerf is, it's basically that it's just harder to get Shinobis uh, when spawning Rogues. That's pretty much what it comes down to, okay? Shinobis are the best talented rogue that you can get and it gets it has all the abilities it's it gives you the smoke it has a active every 20 seconds it has the active ability of, of of popping off and doing all that uh extra damage it does that far less frequently now okay so now uh, I think it was, there was a 30% chance to get a shinobi now there's only 15% chance I believe that's what it was uh but I think it's still pretty decent. As long as you find Shinobis, it still works decently well. And we don't really care about having those on Hexes anyway. We didn't really care about that nerf because if you remember, Shinobis on Hexes never really did a whole lot. It was always a Hunter that did all the work. So now we have Ivy that hopefully can do all the work. But if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, like the video, and also check out those memberships. We got a lot of cool perks that I know you guys will enjoy, including the ongoing raffle for you to win your very own Mallard mug. All you got to be is a rare member. Check those out on YouTube. Hit that join button to see all the other perks. But guys, if you don't know, this is the last mug of the batch. So let me know in the comments if you guys want me to continue the raffle for the Mallard mugs. I, I do plan on it, but it's always useful to hear from you guys as well. Um, and, uh, and yeah, since this is the last of the batch, we may have to push it a couple of months if we don't. So if you guys are interested in checking those out, definitely hop on over to the members page. But let's see. We can combine out. I'll just combine out here for right now. We'll come over here. Uh, we'll go this way. I kind of like having Summoner right now. It's kind of nice. That's not ideal, but not the end of the world. Let's just do this. Another Dryad. I might as well level this guy up and level this guy up. Why not? Getting that Shinobi up makes him... It, it triggers that active ability, which is really, really great. And we're rocking this deck with Trainer. So hopefully Trainer 
can help us out with uh, with bosses. That would be really really nice. Uh, but yeah, let's just I'll just do that. Uh, I think we just kind of hang out right here. I don't know. Let's just get this guy to. We need our hex to really do a lot of work in this game. So let's try and make sure that our hex is doing his thing. And uh, and then we can kind of go from there. Another another summoner's fine. We kind of fell off at the end of this this wave here. 255. Hopefully we don't have it move us. 200, 100. Uh, it did move us. It got well. It got this guy on a square. Took this guy off a square. Um, not the end of the world, I guess, but obviously not ideal. I could have used the dryad on a shinobi to trigger his active ability, and probably we wouldn't had. Wouldn't, we wouldn't have fallen off at the end of that wave so hard. But uh, but not necessarily the end of the world. So let's just continue. We got another Dryad. We got another one of these guys. Let's just trigger our Shinobi there to help out. I'm going to try and drop, drop my, um, my trainer as actively as I can. Let's just go over there. We got another Ivy. We actually have this guy here, which is great. So let's wait for a mini boss. Uh, I'll drop my trainer there. Let's do a shinobi here. We'll get our hex up again. We've got a rank four on a rank four. That's really, really good. But we're still not really doing the amount of damage that I would like. Our board is really having a tough time. 20 seconds. Let's just go right here, try and fight off a little bit more of this. I don't have a ton of plays to make, and I'm scared that Bedlam is going to ruin our afternoon. Let's just do that. We got another Hex. I don't know, man. We don't have our trainer. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it did move us, but... Uh, our board still looks pretty okay. It's kind of interesting. Okay, so let's do. Let's start with this. Kind of a ballsy play, uh, but not terrible. Let's. Uh, we'll just do this and we'll do that. Cause what the heck, man? Why not? Let's just do that. Another Ivy. Forty-three seconds. I guess I'll try to drop my trainer here, just to be able to get a couple of trainers out. Maybe we'll be able to get another one by the time Tribunal comes. But we don't have a ton of plays here. We've got Ivy that's decent. We've got, I mean, we've got a rank 5 Ivy. We've got a rank uh, 5 Summoner. Uh, not Summoner. Hex. I don't think I could ask for much more. Maybe a couple more Shinobis. But this board looks pretty good. 15 seconds. Our trainer, we, better, we must have a really low amount of morale. Because our trainer is not coming back quickly. We need our Hex to trigger, bro. He's doing his slow. 5 seconds. 4 Oh, that smoke is so clutch. All right, so I don't know if we'll take this guy out, but even if we don't, that's okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, let's get another Dryad. That would be awesome. Beautiful. So notice how I'm going to... Oh, it's not going to matter. There is a victory. Hit it with the good game. Oh, my goodness, I really didn't know how that game was going to go. I really, really didn't know how that game was going to go. We're obviously outdoing him by crit a lot. But guys, look at Hex. Hex is not triggering nearly at all. I've used Ivy in the past, and Ivy used to be super good with Hex. And, uh, and it just seems a little bit weak. Let's jump into another game here, though. And see if we can find one more victory for this video. And this guy's running a triple slow bruiser deck, which is super, super interesting. We did find a Shinobi right off the bat, which is nice. Uh, but I really want to start seeing Ivy just carrying his weight. Because Ivy doesn't really do... I, although Ivy did more damage than Hex. But I don't really have Ivy in there for damage. I have Ivy in there to trigger Hex because Rogue's really not going to do it. So if you guys wanted to try this deck out... You literally could make as many substitutions as you want. You could replace uh, Hex. Not not Hex. Probably not. Hex is the only one you can uh, replace. Replace uh, Summoner with Harlequin. Replace it with Scrapper. 
You could replace Rogue with Boreas. You could replace Ivy with Hunter. There's a bunch of different things that you could do for this deck uh, to try and accommodate to the cards that you have. But I don't know. I, I really don't know. I, I like the fact that Already this week, we've been playing around against a bunch of random, kind of strange decks. I like that a lot. Um, but uh, other than that, I don't have a whole lot of positives to say about this deck. I mean, we won one. So, we won one. That's 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 half the battle. So, so far, so good. I like our Hex placement. I like our Shinobi over there. I'm going to definitely get this Shinobi up because... Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, I think it. what we were struggling with the most was um, having Hex trigger. So I think we should try and focus a little bit more on our Hex this game and, uh, and hope that our IV-Hex combination can do a little bit of work. We've got Warlock. I'm going to try and hit my Trainer and... Uh, and level up my shinobi at the same time just to make sure that we can take it out because it does like it just scares me a little bit so we're gonna do that do we have enough to get one more no we don't so i'm gonna level him up i'm gonna hit my trainer we should have no problem especially if we have that leveled up like that we should have absolutely no problem to take that guy out let's just do this for right now we'll come down here as well ivy on a rank three is really really good I always like to have an extra Dryad on my board. Does it realistically matter all that much? Maybe not. Um, so let's just let's just do it. Because we'll get a rank 4 Hex on a rank 3 Ivy. Realistically, this should be pretty good. Let's try and get our Rogue up one more time. Our Hex up a couple more times. I, I wouldn't mind getting everybody to 4. But I see Puppeteer looming over us. So we're going to have to know that uh puppeteer's coming we're gonna have to have a couple of dryads to try and level up our shinobi and we're gonna have to be ready for um for our trainer we're gonna have to have our trainer ready to activate when puppeteer comes down because you really don't want it to move us around you really actually it doesn't really matter that much this hex no matter what is going to be on that ivy so it's kind of okay but uh yeah I mean, one of the biggest things about Ivy is that it triggers periodically. It doesn't do damage just consistently over time. So the monsters kind of get far on your board. And then next thing you know, they're they're clearing your board. But when that when they're creeping away, it definitely gets scary. But if you guys want to catch me live, I do live stream. We live stream exclusively on Twitch. We live stream on Fridays as well as Sundays. Fridays at 11 a.m. and Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We would absolutely love to have you guys come on by. Okay, we did take it out. We had our trainer. We didn't find any dryads, but that's not the end of the world. Let's just do that for right now. A hex right there is going to do essentially nothing for us unless we get this guy up a couple times. Uh, but yeah, we'd absolutely love to have you guys come on by the stream. You can play with me. You can play against me. Uh, if you want to just hang out and chill, by all means, hang out and chill. That's what we do at the beach, right? What are you supposed to do at the beach? You just hang out and chill. Um, and if you guys need help with dungeons, stop on by. If I can't help you with dungeons, I'm sure somebody can. Uh, on stream and that's kind of what it's all about we you know we get it everybody needs help whether it's floor six seven eight nine ten whatever it is somebody will be there to give it a shot and help you out all right so we got tamer next i'm liking our board i was gonna drop my trainer but i decided not to we've got an ivy let's just get this ivy up a couple of times because it is on a hex Maybe it would have been better to get one of these guys up and kind of ignore the guy that's on a square, but that's okay. We'll just do that. Another summoner. We could combine those guys out for something cool. I don't think we care about um, using our trainer for tamer because tamer's whatever. So I might as well use my trainer there, use our ivy here. And if Ivy and Hex can trigger a little bit, hopefully we can take this out decently well. 900 versus his, uh, what, 700? I think we'll be fine here. We only have the one Shinobi, which is a little bit upsetting. 
but uh, but again, not necessarily the end of the world. And we actually took him out about the same speed uh, as he did. So our board is pretty much max. The only thing not max is our Ivy. Let's just level that up. As long as our Hex keeps triggering, we should be in a decent spot. But the fact that he has three slows, he only has one Cold Mage on his board. Where are his Catapults? Oh, he's got one Cold, cold Mage and one Catapult. Um... It's definitely in our favor that he doesn't have all his stuff uh, ready to go. But come on, Ivy. We're doing, we have a ton of Ivies on our board. We really desperately need Ivy to just trigger and go ham against all of this stuff. Let's level Ivy up. We've got Ivy and Rogue kind of combining right there. That was a really nice uh, combination to take everything out. 15 seconds. I will combine out everything if we do make it to Tribunal, which we really should. Um, but Vortex is always a little scary. Four seconds. Is he going to take a hit here? Vortex. He did take a hit and we made it. Let's combine out there and there. I guess I'll hit my trainer just to do it. And, uh, and here we go. 500, 400. We took that out. No problem. He'll probably take it out too. If I had to guess, let's just do this for right now. And we can actually go here. And uh, the Summoner Dryad is working out pretty well. We've we've did that. We've uh, made that merge, that combination a handful of times throughout this game. And we've actually had some pretty good outcomes. So Edgar, you ran into the hand of Forest Faction only deck. And, uh, and you couldn't handle... You couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. Let's hit him with a good game. Guys, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Let's check out the damage. Very, very interesting. Shinobi doing the most damage, even though we only had one Shinobi that whole game. One, well, okay, that's not true. We had other rogues. I, I keep thinking that it's only Shinobi. We had other rogues, but we did only have one Shinobi. But we had, you know, the bird, we had the mouse. Nine mil from Shinobi, eight mil from Ivy, and almost six mil from Hex. Let me know what deck you guys are rocking with this week. And if you're noticing anything different with that speed, because maybe that speed helped us, helped us out a little bit. He was rocking a triple slow deck. I don't think he had very good RNG. He had a bunch of bruisers and not a ton of slow. Uh, but they did get to the end of his board. And like just barely. So maybe if we didn't have that booster this week, he wouldn't have taken hit that hit right there. And we would have pushed another wave and maybe he could have sneaked to victory. I don't know. But let me know what you guys are playing Let this week let me know if you try this out and you find success but that's going to be the end of this youtube video if you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will check you guys out in tomorrow's video